Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode 19 of Get Good at Battlefield 1, and today I present to you... The Noob Medic Build. Now this follows my fresh noob build that I did for the Assault class, which I'll link in the description if you haven't seen it, and I intend to produce a noob build for both the Scout class and the Support class in the near future. But to the matter at hand, this build consists entirely of components available to you at the start of the game. They have also been selected for ease of use to new players while still being an effective setup for more experienced people. Our primary weapon will be the Che or C, I don't, I don't know which one it is, Rigotti Factory variant. Now this is a nice primary to start the game off with, as to me it feels like a great middle ground between the slower firing more accurate rifles and the spammable closer range combat rifles. Meaning that, although it isn't the best in class for either of these two scenarios, it's a great jack of all trades weapon. You can fire quickly to spray people down, or you can pace your shots in a more measured fashion to pick people off at slightly longer ranges. It is capable of picking up kills at long ranges at times, just be aware that firing too quickly in this situation will make you miss a fair amount of shots. For our side arm we have the M1911. The same pistol is in my fresh new build, as it's the only one available to you when you first start the game. Just as I explained in that video, this is what you expect from a pistol in your conventional first person shooter. It fires at the rate you would expect, and thus kills at the rate you would expect. A great versatile sidearm for a multitude of situations, be it spraying someone down at close range or cleaning up a kill on a weak enemy. Gadget 1 is going to be the medical syringe. This has been selected for several reasons. Firstly, because if you're new to the game you may not be hugely skilled in terms of gunfights, and thus being able to revive people means you can still contribute to your team's efforts. Add to this the simple fact that the ability to revive people is extremely powerful, but also <laughs> because I see so many bad medics. I want to create a new breed of effective medics who use their kit properly and support their team. Please join my cause. Gadget 2 is going to be the frag version of the rifle grenade, selected due to its similar nature to the noob tube of the Call of Duties of years ago. It's easy to use. You get three grenades, and it has huge utility value. You can predict where an enemy might be, you can fire into rooms for blast damage, you can bounce them around corners, all sorts of things. They're probably a bit overpowered in all honesty, so feel free to abuse that. Our grenade will be your basic frag grenade. Adding this to your rifle grenades makes you an explosion machine. Being a medic, you're at a disadvantage up close when countered by an assault enemy. So the opportunity to have multiple explosive devices for close quarters combat is extremely valuable. It's a frag. Use it as you would in any FPS game. We've also selected it over the gas grenade as we don't really want to be running into areas without the ability to aim down a sight with a rifle. Finally, our melee weapon is the club. I almost always select this weapon archetype as I just find it to be the best blend of speed and power, but I'll leave this one up to you. And there you have it, the noob medic build. Just as with my fresh noob build, I was surprised by how effective this build was and my KD once again went up. I hope it helps you out there on the battlefield. If you liked the video then let me know by hitting that like button, as it genuinely helps the channel out. If you're new around here then also hit that subscribe button for future content, and I'll see you next time. Laters.